seminar on practicalities of youth alpha and student alpha. We finished a big morning session on basically the theology, <laughs> excuse me, alpha. And yeah, so now we're here, we're going to investigate a bit of what youth and student alpha might be about and hopefully see if we can implement it at the top racing. Hey, Let's just say hi. Well, the Holy Spirit is at work in many countries of the world and in Switzerland, and we need prayers. The prayers of you teenagers and you teenagers to come over to bless Switzerland, to pray for Switzerland, to bring the gospel to Switzerland, Europe, where the gospel has came, come out to reach the States and Canada and Vancouver. So we need you very much, and thank you very much that I can talk to you, and I bless you and the work there in Vancouver, Canada, with Ignatius and Silas. <laughs> I saw dreams of heaven. Dreams of heaven, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. That, yeah I think they, they called it a taste of heaven earlier. A but dreams yeah. of heaven. A yeah. glimpse? I, yeah, a glimpse. That's exactly what I said earlier. So it's really early in the morning right now. It's like 6.45 a.m. What are we doing? We're going to morning prayer! <laughs> 7 a.m. Yeah. That's right, and you should too. You should too. Exciting! <laughs> 7 a.m. So the morning 7 a.m. prayer meeting. They meet on Tuesdays, every Tuesday at 7 a.m. Just a few people right now. See how many people we get inside. So we are like two minutes away from 7 a.m. And people are coming in, coming in right now. Very excited to see how this prayer morning meeting is going to go. Very cool stuff. Usually 7 a.m. is the hardest time to get up and and getting out of bed at five is just not possible. But today it's just like really invigorating just to come here and just see not just two people, not three people, but almost like I would say 50, 60 people or more. I don't it's like know. 200, right? 200? 200? Yeah, 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 I don't look back. There's like 200 people behind me all praying yeah. at the same time. Praying for Japan and the earthquake in Japan. So I see a lot of people are very excited to see you in the world. Especially for these three people. So I'm very happy that we can have a heart to see all of these people. Actually, we know that every night at 9 o'clock, it's very excited to see you in the door. It's very excited to see you in the door and you can see you in the door. It's very excited to see you in the door and you can see you in the door. 希望大家知道祈禱的力量是非常重要的。今天很開心見到幫日本祈禱、幫埃及祈禱、最需要的國家。So the seminar and prayer was led by Pastor Pete Greig. We started the 24/7 prayer movement. And yeah, here are some of the books on the bookstore. This is interesting. We call Punk Monk. So I'm here right now with Pete Gray, one of the pastors here at Holy Trinity Brompton, the founder of 24/7 Prayer. Just want to ask. Yeah, there, there we go. Just want to ask. Oh, there it is. Just want to ask Pete, um, why is prayer so important, and what does prayer mean to Pete? Prayer is important because that's where we grow our relationship with God. It's the source of our power as Christians. It's where we experience God's presence, and it's where we get our perspective, our insights, our vision right. Alright, that's awesome. Is that it? Yeah. Wow, that was really easy. That was easy. <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs>